A speaker is basically a device that turns electricity into sound, enabling you to listen to your favorite music. But how does it actually work? That's what you're going to find out in this video. This is a magnet, and every magnet, including this one, has got a north pole and a south pole. Now if you have two magnets, then the north pole will attract the south pole and vice versa, but two north poles will push each other away, same goes for two south poles. This is a coil made out of copper wire. Now a coil is not a magnet, in fact it's made out of copper so it's not magnetic at all. However, if we make electricity run through this coil, it becomes magnetic. So a coil is basically a magnet that you can turn on or off. Now if you make the electricity run through the coil in this direction, the north pole will be here and the south pole will be on this side. However, if you make the electricity run through the coil in the opposite direction, the north pole will be right here and the south pole will be right here. But what have these coils and magnets got to do with our speaker? Well, let's take a look at the cross section of a speaker. As you can see, at the front of a speaker there is something called a membrane, also called a cone sometimes. Then behind that there is the coil we just talked about, and behind that there is a magnet. The magnet is fixed inside the enclosure of the speaker. It cannot move. Now, let's say that in our example, the north pole of this magnet is facing towards the coil, and the south pole is facing in the opposite direction, of course. The coil, however, is not magnetic because there is no electricity running through it, so it doesn't have any north or south pole. So nothing is happening right now. Um, but now let's make some electricity run through this coil. We are going to connect the positive side of our power supply to the red wire and the negative side is going to be connected to the black wire. Now, as you can see, the north pole of the copper coil is facing the north pole of that magnet. This means that they are going to push each other away. However, the magnet is fixed in the enclosure of the speaker. It cannot move but the coil is connected to a soft membrane, so it can move. So that means the coil is going to get pushed forward. Now, that's it, and when we turn off the power again, it's going to move into its old position. But then how does the speaker produce sound? Well, if you want the speaker to produce sound, you need to connect it to an amplifier instead of a continuous power supply. And what the amplifier is going to do is it's going to turn the power on and off very, very rapidly, many times per second. Because of this, the membrane is going to go back and forth very quickly, so fast that it's almost like it's just vibrating. And because of that, it creates pressure waves in the air that we experience as sound. And the faster the membrane goes back and forth, the higher the frequency of the sound. So if the amplifier is playing back, let's say, an opera, that's a very high frequency sound. It's going to turn the power on and off many times per second, let's say 10,000 times per second, to create a 10,000 hertz sound. And if it wants to play back an explosion, which is a very low frequency sound, it is going to turn the power on and off 100 times per second, which creates a very, very low frequency sound. And that is basically how a speaker works. So there you go. Now you know exactly how a speaker works. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.